Okay, so this one we have negative, and in parentheses, x minus 7, plus 2x minus 8 equals 4. Um, and the very first thing, and the part of this question that most students would probably get wrong, if they did get it wrong, would be, what do you do with that negative on the outside of a parenthesis? So I'm going to try, one. yeah, I'm going to try to, just for anyone watching at home as well, try to explain this to death again. But if I had, like, say, in a bag, an apple plus a banana plus a cherry, right? And if I put a, per, a negative outside that bag or that parenthesis, what I'm saying is subtract, take away the whole bag, right? So the, the kid's got the bag with an apple, a banana, and a cherry, and here's the apple, here's the banana, and here's the cherry, right? And here's the bag, okay? And, like, if you take that away, you're taking away an apple, you're taking away a banana, and you're taking away a cherry. Does that make sense? Yes. So like, like so, so, so what I encourage you all to do is change that, subtract to a one, a negative one. And just like the distributive property, you multiply in by negative one. And you get negative one A minus one B minus one C, or negative apple minus banana minus cherry, same thing, right? So, so that's the idea, but, but, um, but this up here now, we're, we've got a negative. We're taking away a negative 7. So watch out for that because that's taking away a negative. So that's going to change things a little bit. So that's the, that's the key right there with this question um, because the negative becomes a negative 1, and we distribute that negative 1 to get negative 1x, and then negative 1 times negative 7. Positive. Positive 7, right. And I beat that to death, I think. All right, so we get this, negative 1x plus 7 plus 2x minus 8 equals 4. And now we continue to simplify both sides. So the next thing is to add like terms if you can. Um, and we've got an x. Positive 1x. Right, so you've got negative 1x plus 2x. One bad guy, two good guys, one good guy, positive 1x. And then we've got a, a 7 and a negative 8. 7. Negative 1. Yep. Awesome. Seven good guys, eight bad guys, negative one equals four. Right? And then we just solve for x. It's just x, and I put a one x. You guys could just put x there. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we just add one to both sides. Four and one is five. 